Hello there, and welcome to another episode of Laptop Retrospective. And today we are going to be putting an MSATA hard disk in this T530. Of course, to do that, we will need to go through a variety of steps. The first is getting your favorite knife and staben, and then deploying said blade, and opening the packaging. And it's actually funny, the packaging for these drives uh, seems to keep changing. The important thing is that it made it here okay. And the other drive that I've installed so far, I haven't heard anything back that it isn't working, so that is a good sign, which is why we are going to use another one of these drives. And it's the nice touches. We do have the two retaining screws just on the off chance that inside the ThinkPad we do not find one of those hanging out, smiling at us, ready to go. So let's do a couple of things here to get this ThinkPad ready for the install, and we'll walk you through it. So the very first thing that we're obviously going to need to do is to remove the battery, because we don't want any sort of electrical uh, surprises taking place while we're working on the inside of this machine. And the next thing that we actually need to do is remove the keyboard. So we're going to go ahead and just tilt everything down here. So you can clearly see what screws are being removed. And we're looking for the ones that are literally labeled keyboard. So this one is labeled keyboard. And we're told by this pictogram that underneath the RAM compartment, there is also a screw there for the keyboard. So first things first, we'll spin out the one that's labeled here. And once that's good to go, We'll just remove it like so. And all of the panels that are on the back here have captive screws, so spin till you hear a click. And off that comes. We'll put that off to the side. And the other screw that we need for the removal of the keyboard is hanging out right there. So we'll flip the machine back around, open up the lid, and do our wiggle check. And if you've never worked on a ThinkPad, that's where you man manhandle the keyboard and go wiggle. And if the keyboard moves, you know you did it right. So we just go ahead and lift that up. And realistically, we don't have to disconnect the keyboard, um, but in this case, it's just a little uh, ribbon cable, so we'll disassemble that for clarity of the instructions. And this little uh, fabric covering is actually what we're interested in. So we're gonna go ahead and remove that. And again, we'll adjust the camera for your viewing pleasure. And we can see the home of where our MSATA drive is going to go. And we can see in the corner here that there is in fact a screw already present. So what we will do is just kindly move these antennas out of the way because they are not going to be in use. Remove that one screw. And the orientation of the drive is very easy to figure out. Short set of pins, short set of pins. And then all we need to do is line that drive up and it will kind of sit at this 45 degree angle and bounce a little bit and then that's how you know that it's ready to install. You gently press it down. There will be a peg on this corner here that shows that it is seated properly in place. And then you'll take your very tiny screw, drop that in place, and, and there we have it. We'll move our unused antenna wires back into place where we found them. And that is the install of the drive. The only thing that we have left to do is reassemble the machine and then uh, install our operating system or whatever else uh, we want to do. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is the successful installation of the solid state hard disk in the T530. Certainly not as easy or as quick as the T430, but not really an extra step either. It's just the removal of the keyboard rather than just the removal of the uh, RAM slot bay. If you enjoy this sort of content, and if you have any questions or comments about the T530, ThinkPads in general, how much fun they are to work on, or even this particular MSATA hard disk, or why I even bother installing them, I would love to answer those questions in the comments down below. And like always, please make sure that you're liking the video, that you're sharing the video, 
and of course ultimately subscribing. If you have any questions that aren't necessarily related to this video, feel free to follow me on Twitter. And if you want just a unique way of asking your question, you can also try out Curious Cat, and that will uh, post the answer to your question to my Twitter feed. So lots of different ways to keep in contact with me. Hopefully you enjoyed this content, and I shall see you next time.